Hello and welcome to the Home Designer Overview video. In this overview, we'll help you understand how the program works so you can start creating your own designs using Home Designer by Chief Architect. Chief Architect offers a family of home design products for both professionals and do it yourselfers designed to meet a variety of needs, including home design, interior design, and landscaping. Please refer to our product comparisons on our website for a complete list of products and features. To help get you started quickly with Home Designer, we provide a number of resources, including how-to tutorial videos that walk step-by-step -step through program, online webinars, and free technical support. In this overview video, we'll design a sample house so you can become familiar with the program and get started on your own designs. When you start a project, begin by selecting a style template. This can easily be personalized as you design. Begin by drawing the walls on the first floor and create the room shape or footprint. For this sample home, I will use the exterior wall tool and click and drag to place the walls. As the walls are drawn, notice that a temporary dimension shows the length of the wall. The wall is actually composed of several layers including siding, insulation, framing, and sheetrock. Each will automatically calculate for the material's estimate. Home Designer includes several wall types, such as curved, interior, and half walls. In Home Designer Pro, each wall layer can be defined with attributes, such as color, line weight, and hatching. While drawing walls, there is no need to leave spaces for doors and windows. The program will automatically create openings when those items are placed in the design. When the shape of the room or house is completed, Home Designer places accurate exterior dimensions for all of the walls and creates a default roof and foundation, all of which can be customized. To move a wall, click and drag or select a wall dimension and type in the measurement for a precise location. Next, we'll use the interior wall tool and place the interior walls. To save time, I'll place the remaining walls. In addition to the automatic dimensions, there are a variety of manual dimension tools. For the interior walls, let's use the interior dimension tool and place dimensions for a few of the walls. Let's take a 3D dollhouse view to see what our design looks like so far. This dollhouse overview shows a good perspective of the shapes of the rooms without the ceiling or roof. While in 3D view, I can continue designing by moving walls, placing doors, windows, and more. With Home Designer, you can place doors and windows and customize to create just about any style. To place a window, select the window tool and click to place. To resize or move the window, select it and move or stretch it to the desired size. Every architectural object in the program, like windows, contain a significant amount of information that can be used to create very specific and detailed styles. Notice all the panels that are available to customize the window. Window type, size, casing, sash, lights, shape, and others. In Home Designer Pro, you will find additional settings for rough openings, framing, molding, lintel and sill, and a few others. For this example, we'll change the window type to a double casement and add craftsman style lights. Notice that the preview panel updates as changes are made to the window. In the 3D view, the changes are now updated. Placing a door works the same way as placing a window. When the door tool is selected, there are several door types to choose from, including hinged, sliding, pocket, or barn doors. Each time a new door is placed, such as this exterior door, it will use a default style that you can customize. When doors or windows are selected, temporary dimensions display and can be used to precisely position it. With the center tool, you can quickly center the door in a room. Click the door, 
then the center tool, and the item to center it on, in this case, the entryway room. To change the door's swing or hinge side of the door, click on either the Change Opening Hinge Side or Change Swing Side button. Again, to save time, I'll place the remaining doors for our house. And that's how easy it is to place windows and doors in Home Designer. In the kitchen design, we'll begin with the room specification where a number of attributes can be defined, such as room name and the floor and ceiling heights. There are additional settings for moldings, wall coverings, materials, and other characteristics. Now that this room is defined as a kitchen, notice that the room label and the square footage are displayed. Cabinets can be placed in 2D or 3D. I'll begin placing the cabinets in a 3D perspective view. Choose the camera and drag it toward the area where the cabinets are going to be placed, and then release. Using the Base Cabinet tool, click in the corner of the room to place the cabinet. Notice that the program recognizes the cabinet is being placed in the corner and automatically creates a corner cabinet. I'll place a few more base cabinets. To resize a cabinet, select the drag handles and adjust it to the desired size. Cabinets can be customized to create literally thousands of cabinet variations in combinations with Home Designer. For example, let's remove the drawer of this cabinet that will be used for the sink. And for the space cabinet, create a bank of three drawers by changing the door to a drawer, adding a new drawer, and then enter the size. It's that easy. Cabinets are smart objects and know how to bump and merge, forming a continuous countertop. To change the cabinet styles, you can browse the library, and choose Cabinet Door and Drawer Styles, and click to Apply and Visualize. To place wall cabinets, select the Wall Cabinet tool and click above the base cabinets to place. I'll resize the cabinet width and height, then change the style to a framed door with glass, and add a tall crown molding. Depending on the Home Designer program you have, there are a number of settings that you can define for the cabinets, including sizing, countertops, backsplash, door and drawer styles, moldings, and several other options. Now, let's have some fun and change the cabinet colors. The Material Painter allows you to change the color and material of any object in your design. Cabinets, countertops, walls, and flooring. To add the fixtures and appliances, find the items in the library and place, either into a cabinet, such as a sink or dishwasher, or next to a cabinet, like a refrigerator. With thousands of items in the library catalog, there is a wide variety to place in any design to help visualize and plan for space. If Home Designer doesn't have a particular item, use the Import feature to further customize your designs. With Home Designer's Smart Cabinet Tools, you can create a variety of kitchen islands. You will also find several prearranged islands that you can download from our website as free bonus library content to quickly place a kitchen island. For added detail, I'll use the program's Elevation camera. Elevations offer a more technical view for designing and adding detailed notes. Using the Wall Elevation camera, I'll draw a dimension through the base cabinets. You can modify the dimensions with the diamond handle to add and remove additional dimensions. Elevations with dimensions and notes can be an important part of designing, purchasing, and building. Home Designer Pro allows you to save any of the scaled camera views on the screen or send them to a layout page, which is typically used to create construction documents. Home Designer has all the powerful design tools needed to create great kitchens and baths. Designing the interior of any home is easy with Home Designer. There are thousands of items in the library to help with visualization and space planning. Home Designer supports several common 2D and 3D file types, which means that you can download name brand library items from our website or other websites. 
It's also easy to import colors, materials, and textures from a digital camera to create specific designs. Tools like the Material Painter, Material Eyedropper, and Color Chooser help to design and visualize. It's fun to experiment with various options to create different looks. To change the color on a wall, use the Material Painter and browse through the library of generic or name brand colors like Sherwin Williams, Benjamin Moore, or Bear Paint, and then click to apply the color. Using the Material Eyedropper, we can quickly duplicate colors and materials and copy from one item to another item. Color selections are virtually unlimited with the Color Chooser tool, which can be used to create custom colors from a digital photo or website. Furthermore, the Color Blending option can help adjust the color on any material. Find a material and blend the color until it's right. In this photo with hardwood floors, Use the Material Eyedropper to select the material, apply the color to the design, and then color blend the wood to create a custom color. Color blending is similar to a stain. The transparency can be defined to create a custom look. The Material Painter can change wall coverings, fabrics, flooring, or any element in the design. There are thousands of selections built into the software. It's also easy to import new materials. There are a wide variety of furnishings in the catalog library to place for floor and space planning and interior design. You can place individual furnishings or use prearranged furniture groupings that are already assembled to help quickly lay out a room. Furniture groupings are available for kitchens, bedrooms, kids' rooms, and others. You can download these furniture groupings as free library catalogs from our website. I'll choose a prearranged bedroom set and place it in the room. Any prearranged furniture grouping can be ungrouped so that individual pieces can be adjusted. All of the furniture placed from the library can also be resized. Simply select the furniture object and use the edit handles to resize it. This is a great space planning feature. Once all the elements have been placed, you can use the different camera styles, including glass house, vector view, technical illustration, watercolor, and physically based for the most realistic to view the scene. Home Designer has an extensive catalog library of core, bonus, and manufacture items. You can import 3D symbols into the program, like furniture and appliances. Download the items from the Home Designer website or a manufacturer's website and import it into the design. Import lighting, molding, furnishings, and accessories to make any room come to life. To get a closer view of sample renderings created in Home Designer, see our gallery on homedesignersoftware.com. With the interior completed, let's explore the program's automated building tools. Foundations, framing, and roof tools are automatically created as the design progresses. With these automatic tools, anytime a wall is moved on the main floor, the foundation will automatically update and it will also update how much concrete and framing are required in the materials list. Home Designer Pro includes added manual foundation tools with several foundation types to choose from. Slab, crawl space, full basement, pier, or a custom style. The foundation wall type and several other foundation options can be defined and customized. Home Designer makes roofs an easy process. There are a variety of roof styles that can be created including hip, gable, gullwing, shed, and others. The default hip roof that was built has a 3 and 12 pitch with shallow overhangs. The program automatically adds features to the roof, like fascias, gutters, and roof returns, all of which can be customized. To modify the automatic roof, you can toggle walls from hip to gable. 
You can also change the roof properties for each wall. You will find several built-in tutorials to help. Furthermore, Home Designer Pro has advanced roof settings, and the roof planes can be manually edited to create just about any style of roof. Ceiling tools are related and similar to the roofing tools. Home Designer automatically creates flat ceilings once the roof is generated. The ceiling tools can be used to create a variety of custom styles, including vault, tray, and coffered. The stair tool can create straight, split, curved stairs, and ramps. Home Designer includes all of the defaults typically used in construction to make stairs easy to build. In this split screen view, I'll use the stair tool to place a set of L-shaped stairs. Like all of the architectural objects, there is flexibility to customize the stair options. To modify these stairs, I'll begin by changing the number of treads for a mixed symmetry, add to the tread thickness, use open risers with a single stringer without trim or a railing on the wall. Using the auto stairwell tool, create an opening on the floor above and then move up to floor two. The stairwell size can be changed by adjusting the railing walls as well as the rail style by choosing from the library and replacing in 3D. Creating stairs is an easy process with Home Designer. And with Home Designer Pro, you will find advanced settings and control for the stairs. As the design progresses, Home Designer automatically generates the framing for the walls, floors, and roof. The program includes a 3D camera to specifically see the framing, making it easy to see the framing details. Home Designer Pro includes manual framing tools for full control over the framing. You can see the advanced framing options as you navigate through the panels for the foundation, first floor, wall, headers, and roofs. All of the framing members can be manually edited as needed to customize your designs. Home Designer retains all the information on each element by category, such as doors, windows, cabinets, framing, and concrete, and automatically adds it to the materials list. With much of the structural detail completed for the house, let's calculate a cost estimate from the materials list. The program produces a detailed list of materials by category with the description and quantity of materials in spreadsheet format, making it easy to estimate costs. With Home Designer Pro, you can create scaled construction drawings that can be used for building permits or construction. Any view you have in your plan can be sent to a layout sheet where you can define its scale and organize your drawings, floor plans, elevations, and sections. Individual layers can be turned on and off to create just the view you need for your layout documents. Home Designer automatically creates a 3D model that you can use to visualize and edit your designs. There are three types of cameras you can use, a full overview camera, a dollhouse camera, and an elevation camera. Each camera type has advantages that can be useful for different types of views. The full overview is great to visualize the roof, exterior, and landscaping elements. The dollhouse camera provides an unobstructed view for interior spaces and the elevation camera is helpful for detailed front-on views or cross-section details. To create a 3D view, simply choose the camera type and create the view. While in a 3D camera view, navigation tools allow you to pan the camera around, take a complete 360-degree view, and use a cross-section slider to see all aspects of your design. You can record the camera movements as well as create a walkthrough path to create a virtual tour movie file. The camera views can be filtered with different rendering techniques you can toggle and visualize different styles. The standard render, vector, physically based, glass house, 
technical illustration, and watercolor. The settings for each of the techniques can be adjusted to your needs. Some of these rendering techniques may not be available in Home Designer Suite. Let's get started with the landscaping. For this house, we'll begin by creating a terrain perimeter. The terrain perimeter is the shape of the lot indicated by this green line. I can enter a dimension to precisely size the terrain. It can be easily edited by clicking on the edge to change the shape and size. Once the shape of the perimeter has been established, elevation data can be added to create sloped or varying terrain lots. For a sloped lot, I will add an elevation region at the front of the lot to form a flat area, then add an elevation line at the back of the lot and set it to a negative value. The program will automatically generate the terrain after clicking the Build Terrain in the menu or by taking a 3D view. You will then see the contour lines that are created for the sloping lot. Roads, plants, fence, and other objects will follow the contour of the terrain. Other terrain features like hills, valleys, roads, sidewalks, and driveways can help to complete a detailed landscape or site plan. Now that the terrain shape is completed, we'll move on to landscaping features. To make it easy, prearranged landscaping beds can be quickly placed into the design. These landscaping beds can add visual appeal and can be modified for your specific plan. You can download the landscaping beds from our website. The plant chooser can help to create custom beds with individually placed plants. It includes information on up to 3,600 plants and is a great tool to help find and learn about the right plants for any landscaping project. To search for specific plants, there are several attributes that can be used to find the ideal plant and narrow the results. For example, a search for a plant by the name Iris displays a small subset of those plants in the library. The search results can be displayed by either common or scientific name. When placing plants from the library, they can be distributed in the garden bed with settings for spacing and orientation to make the garden beds look natural. Each plant has an informational tab with details about size, sun, water requirements, bloom time, and hardiness zone. The hardiness zone maps help to locate the area in which you live and determine which plants are suitable for that climate region. Most of the plants have maturity information. This information can be used to visualize growth of plants. For example, we can start with young trees and shrubs, define their ages, and then use the Grow Plants tool to adjust the maturity. This tool is helpful to see how the plants will look as they mature. A plant schedule can be generated with all the plants in the landscape project. This can be a good shopping or planning list. The program's integrated landscaping and deck tools can help put the finishing touches on any project and help you visualize your design. To further personalize the project, take a real-life picture of the lot, import the photo, and use it as the background. 3D views look even more realistic. Now that the site plan and landscaping are completed, there is one final element to add, a deck. Using the deck railing tool, draw the shape of the deck. When the area is enclosed, notice that a deck room label has been created. In a 3D view, we can see that the deck has been automatically generated with planking, foundation supports, and the structural framing. The software includes a framing option for decks that will automatically frame the deck and build the foundation supports for you. Deck default options can be customized, including the optional deck roof and deck planking materials. In the deck options, you can define additional features for the deck, such as overhang, width, direction, and planks. With Home Designer Pro, you can define advanced framing and structural details. With the deck completed, a cost estimate can be generated from the materials list. The program retains all the information about the deck, such as posts, planking, framing and concrete, and automatically adds that information to the materials list, making it easy to estimate project costs. 
In addition to total lineal feet for the decking materials, a cut and buy list can be generated for budgeting, lumber shopping list, or a construction cut list. You've seen just a fraction of the capabilities of Home Designer. Don't forget to review the other in depth tutorial training videos, online webinars, and the Home Talk user forum to help with your design projects, all available at homedesignersoftware.com. If you're not already a customer, you can order now risk free. We are so confident you'll like our software that we offer an unconditional two week money back guarantee. Chief Architect Software is the only home design software company that develops, publishes, and supports its own products. We specialize in home design software and work to provide you the highest quality of products and services. Thank you for watching the Home Designer Overview video, and we hope you enjoy creating and designing your dream home with Home Designer.